record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stunt for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, 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 for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. I felt like, gotta get my life back Since you gone, gone. they don't need to write back It's all good. good, the hoes know how I live Big time, know I like the lights bright It's all good. good, really why I work hard To do what I want, to do what I feel To do what we did, again in your whip Again and again, let's get it and get Parking spark in your bench, you talking shit You talking for a record again It's a regular nigga with kid, but I ain't regular baby They close the stores when I'm shopping The peace of mind is amazing And bring me water with a lemon on the tray with a bagel So we can talk our differences over Salmon and wine, salmon and wine. Salmon and wine. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share how, how I meal prep. I only meal prep how most people do, but they kind of make five or six set meals for the five or six days or whatever it is that they're doing. So I kind of like to make a few different ingredients separate, keep them in the fridge in separate containers. That way I can just pull from and make whatever it is I'm feeling that day because I don't know about you guys, but the thought of just eating chicken, rice and veggies or whatever it is that you're meal prepping for like five days straight just sounds really boring. So what I like to do is at the beginning of the week, I like to roast up a big batch of veggies, whatever I'm feeling. At the moment, I'm obsessing over orange veggies. So like sweet potato and pumpkin, they're really the only orange veggies I can think of. I love to get lots of my carbohydrates from vegetables, getting carbs from veggies, so lots of like starch based veggies is just what works best with my body. So. I like to cut up a whole heap, roast them, add some rosemary, some thyme, literally I add different spices all the time, just whatever I kind of feel or pull from the cupboard, as well as a tablespoon of olive oil, drizzle that all over, chuck her in the oven for 40, 45 minutes um, until they're really nice and soft at 200 degrees. And then I have them stored in container and voila! For the record, for the record, for the for the record, for the record. For the for the um, I also like to do some kind of protein. I'm going to be at home for the majority of the week. I just prefer just to put my protein up as that day as I use. So another thing that I like to do, which I think a lot of people will think I'm um, actually crazy for doing this, but is soaking my quinoa. So you're probably thinking like, what? what? <laughs> So soak in your nuts, legumes, I guess grains because quinoa is a grain, but basically it just aids for optimal digestion. So I do at the moment have a really sensitive gut, I have signs of IBS. So a way to kind of deal with that and help my gut digest grains easier is by soaking them. So the way you soak quinoa is depending how many servings you do. For, so for this instance, I did two cups of quinoa and for every cup of quinoa, you do two cups of water. So I put that equivalent into a big glass mason jar. So I used to do about a cup full of apple cider vinegar and some salt. I don't really know what that does. I just read it somewhere and I do it. And I think it's just more for flavor. Apple cider vinegar is like a really strong taste. So I was a bit like, mm, not sure about it. But um, you let it soak overnight. You can do it for like a day or two days. I just kind of do it until I remember it. So normally about 20, 24 hours. And then once it's soaked for the next day, you can see all like the murky, greasy, shitty water that that would have been inside your body. That's what your body would have digested. So that is what is making it hard on your gut. So by soaking these, you get that layer that comes off the grain, off whatever it is that you're soaking. You can do this for nuts as well. It just takes it off and then you obviously drain and chuck all that gross water. And then you just keep what you have left. <laughs> straight away. So to cook quinoa, it's kind of the same method for soaking. So you do, I think it's two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. Put that in your pot. Um, I like to add about a tablespoon of this bone broth. Bone broth is like amazing for the gut as well. This is Nutri Organics beef flavor. It just adds a really nice yummy 
beef flavoring to the quinoa. So I chuck that in there, oh, and just let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until the quinoa becomes nice and fluffy. Get it with a fork, fluff it around, and boom, got quinoa. <laughs> so I like to store that in its own separate container as well in the fridge. So then when it comes to lunches, dinners, even like a snack, um, you know, I've got my veggies, I've got my quinoa, and then whatever protein it is. I just find there's like a super, super easy way of being prepared to basically always have healthy food on standby. Um, I'm pretty sure like everybody can relate to this if you don't obviously have such a healthy food selection in the fridge or pantry made available to you, you're just going to go reach for whatever is easy and convenient when you're like dying of starvation, when you're super hungry. You know, whether that's just like a piece of toast or like a really sugary miso bar for you know really good wholesome foods and it seriously does not take long at all to prepare so that's kind of what I like to base my weekly meals off of so obviously you know like I said at the beginning of the, the veggies that I use do definitely change so you know sometimes I do broccoli, capsicum, normal potato, like zucchini, eggplant, literally whatever I'm feeling always in the fridge so I can see. <laughs> So I'm just editing this video and I actually realized I forgot to film like a proper outro, that's something I'm like not the best at at the moment. But anyway, I just want to say thank you for watching and if you liked this video, please like it so I actually know that people are actually finding my videos enjoyable. Um, and also subscribe to my channel because it actually makes me so happy every time I get a new subscriber. It makes me feel like all my hard work into my videos is actually worthwhile and getting me somewhere. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.